Eliza, look at you. Ah, oh, don't look at him. <laughs> he doesn't want you to look at him, Mom. But I do want to look at that bread that you got in the oven. Ooh. -hoo. It was still frozen. Oh, okay. And you're gonna put garlic and stuff in it. Oh, it's already in there. Oh. You're just gonna open it up so you can get crispy inside. You can open it. Oh, it's so hot, I can't. Ooh, the spaghetti nice. is so good with the bread. Okay, hey guys, we just got my packages inside the car. And now I'm in the car. Um, I have, it's like only 93 degrees today, which is a lot cooler than yesterday, because yesterday it was still in the hundreds, and 93 is a lot cooler. Like, literally, it feels like a huge difference outside, but apparently there's like a fire somewhere nearby but not close enough that um the area that i live in is um like in danger of catching on fire but the sky is very like it's cloudy but um the air quality is really bad right now because of the fire so like yeah um but oh check it out i'm wearing my squirrel Sure, I think it's so cute. And whenever I wear like light colored shirts, I look really, really tan. And I am really, really tan. But like whenever I wear white colored shirts, like I feel like I look even more tan and slightly orange. <laughs> but I wanted to show you a sneak peek of a bag. I'm still testing it out to see if I want to keep it. And I know I don't really need to test it out because I actually literally own two ex like two bags that are exactly the same. But I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek. Um, if you watch, I don't know if it, if it popped up in the vlog yesterday, but it is going to be in a video this coming week. And But here it is. Catch that? You guys are probably just going to freeze frame it. But um, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I had a very similar bag in the same in black as well um and i ended up selling it because i was like uh black like i have a couple black bags and i never really ended up using that one because i don't know black bags aren't really my thing i feel like i like more colored bags and i do have a few black ones that i really do enjoy as well but i just like don't gravitate to I just didn't gravitate towards that one as often as the other ones probably because I already have so many bags or I had other bags that were like that that were the same style bag in different colors so anyway I don't even know what I'm telling you guys but right now we're gonna head over to the post office and then we're gonna go to the Goodwill so let's head out all right you guys we just got to the back at the post office let's drop off our packages all right, you guys, we just got to the Goodwill. Let's go inside and check it out. I'm super excited to see what they have in store for us today. Oh my gosh, they have... Oh yeah, are those... Those floral, like, Doc Martens? Can't tell. That bag looks pretty nice, too. Do you think it's a Dior that looks like... It's like a Dior keychain type of thing? Like right there? I don't know. We'll see. We'll check it out. We'll get the scoop in a second. All right, you guys, it was like a super fake Dior, so we didn't bother with it. I was gonna try to film it, but there was like a lot of people up there, so I was just like, eh. what's this? Oops, got a jumper. Oh, Lucky Brand. Okay, so the jumper was a Lucky Brand bag, which is pretty cute, so I currently have it on my shoulder. It's $9.99. Jessica Simpson. What's this? 18 Agner. Oh, I actually wanted to look at the clothing over there too on the clothing rack, but we'll look at that in a second once we're done looking through these handbags over here. Simply Vera. What's this one? 18 Agner. No, this clay one. Ooh, what's this? 18 Agner. Etienne, Etienne, I don't even, I'm probably always saying it wrong. <laughs> you guys are like hater in there, how to speak. Um, ooh, what's that? Oh, this feels like leather, unfortunately. 
no people inside. That's that fake um, mulberry looking bag. What's that? Tack. Tackerg? That's that B. McKelsey that's been here. That one's been here too. Oh, that's that juicy bag. Forever 21. Perlina. Oh, that's like a vintage style Perlina. Alright, last little handbag section left. Okay, don't see anything. Check out the clothes now. Alright, you guys, I'm looking through the kids' shoes. Seeing if there's anything exciting. I don't know why the store kind of looks like a little bit like a mess. Um, <laughs> it's, what is it? Today's Monday, so I don't see why it should be like, but I mean, I don't know. Did they have a sale today that I didn't know about? <laughs> okay, oh, I forgot to check out the carts. Okay, let's look. Those are just. Oh, this is kind of cool looking. Those boots look major. They do have some handbags right here. And then HM. This one's a Michael Kors handbag. Super soft, but. I don't know, this is kind of coming out a little bit. It's $11.99. May not be too bad of a price for eleven ninety nine. This drop can be repaired. And it is super soft. And it is authentic. I'm trying to look at this inside area first. I don't know, we'll think about that. Oh, this little bear. BB eight. Like Bag. We have this faux snake, TNEO. This coach bag that's fairly discolored and damaged. A tote bag. This one's a Donna Buckman. A book stand. Attention, da, 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 da. Okay, sorry. Got got caught into the song. <laughs> Are these Crocs? Oh my gosh, they're Crocs with like furry inserts. Amazing. I've never seen those before. Um, what are these? Marky, size 37. Look at those shoes over here. I'm still thinking about this coach bag, but it's literally like really threadbare inside, so I don't know about that. Um, Steve Madden's, what are these reports? Highlights. These Vince Camudos are pretty cool and they are in very good condition. Nine Dine Dine. But I find that Vince Camudos don't sell, like resell the best. I think like, they're great for if they're like for you or for someone that you know. Cloud walkers. That heel. Oh my gosh, this dog pillow. Just found some Pottery Barn plates. Oh, are these blue ones also? Oh no, I don't think they are. No, definitely not. But these look like they're cool. But they're $1.99 each. Hmm. 
Oh, okay, so yesterday I was trying to do, oops, drop my shirt. Um, that $20 thrift store challenge and a lot of you guys messaged me saying that oh it's usually like for clothing and I was like well <laughs> I did it for like everything that I bought but I think clothing would be pretty fun so I think I want to try that out but do I want to dress myself um, or do I want to dress like like my sister or the kids like let me know or maybe I can do like an episode of each like myself and then like the kids maybe my mom I don't know we'll see but let me know down in the comments below what you guys think and then we'll try to do like a head to toe type thing shirt pants shoes so uh, like three pieces maybe in four like perhaps a light jacket who knows but I think that would be like super fun. Okay, check out this little, I don't know, jewelry box. And it's signed Love Grove on the bottom. Does anyone know anything about this? I'm gonna try to look it up and see if I can find anything. This is pretty cool, a little morbid, but like still very cool. This little bunny thing is so cute. Why did Easter pass already? It has a little bit of like chipping on it, but it's not the worst. $2.99. Little kitty cat. Ladies home journal thing. Ooh, coasters. Three ninety nine for those. Fake Marc Jacobs stand bag. Okay guys, it's literally such a mess. I'm like kind of trying to like pick stuff up and put it away as I go along. Just because it's like... So unfortunately messy. Um, but so far I haven't found anything really cool. I did find this fake long jump bag. It's a definite fake. Um, and they have a price at $3.99. I just wanted to show it to you guys. I don't think I'm gonna pick it up. But what's that? Um, that this is the bag that I had. <laughs> I just fell out of my shoulders or off my shoulder. Um, I don't know. Everything's like kind of just on the floor at the moment. Someone was like, just like throwing stuff on the floor, which, um, a little rude, but can't force people to clean in the store, I guess, I don't know. Ooh. Okay, this feels like leather, unfortunately. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, look at this. There's a cute little Harajuku girl bag. They're like little Eskimos. The bag's kind of dirty though. Um, $5.99, maybe? Uh, I think I just spotted something else over here. And it looks to be a little polka dot list board sack. Um, this one's pretty stained though, and is $1.99. I think I might just leave this one though, it's pretty dirty. Ooh, they have like a fish glass bowl thing. Take a look through the mugs. I'm looking, oh look at this, popcorn seasoning, that is cute, there's two of them, that's cute, looks like someone made it almost, do you think someone made it, that'd be super cute if someone did, oh this is like a fancy ceramic trash can, right, like this looks like a trash can, right, but it's really cute, <laughs> but I'm just gonna leave it, like I don't need a fancy ceramic trash can, or do I? 
Right now I'm just using like a wicker basket thing that I was going to turn into a light shade into one. To, like into a trash can. And... And... That's what I'm doing. Oh, I've already looked at that before. Um, okay, I don't see any mugs. Any of those things. Any plates. See what we have. Oh, this thing is still here. I think this thing is like so funny. It has like a cat with like a little mouse on its foot built into the cookie jar. Oh my gosh, do you guys know Miffy, the little bunny? It's a little drawer set here. Stop, there's a mirror. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, this is what I was trying to look at. Made in Hungary. This is a very nice bowl. If it doesn't have any chips, I think I would like it. Right? Like, this is cute. It feels very hand done as well. Very nice. I like those, like the design on it. Okay, look at this cute bird. Someone painted that. How cute. I also kind of enjoy this moss thing. I want to do something very similar to that. And have been wanting to do something like that to that large, um, like, planter thing that I got from a while back. But I just haven't found the moss for it. Just looking through. Look at that bird painting. That one's cool, too. They have a lot of new furniture pieces. This very Ralph Lauren looking chair over here. I feel like my sister had a had a dress like this that my mom made her once. Very Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Flower. Catlea. Oh, Catlea, those are my mom's favorite orchids. Catlea orchids. Sassy. Ooh, there's a mirror back there. Look at this painting thing. Nice. Oh, there's the mirror. Hey, this isn't bad. I can put this outside in the backyard. All right, you guys, here's the entire mirror. What do you guys think? I don't know, you guys. I think I do like it. I put it on Instagram and see what you guys think about it. I saw this wardrobe thing which is like kind of interesting. It's only $5.99. It has spiders in it. Oh, it comes with spiders. Okay, no. Don't like anything that comes with complimentary spiders. But I do like this mirror. So it was originally $2.70 wherever it was from. This little thing right there. Um, Lauren Wood Industry Co. That's from the mill where it's from, I guess. It doesn't say where it's from. It might actually be from, um, what's that place called? Hobby Lobby? Very Hobby Lobby-ish. But still, $15 is a deal. The color, I think, is fine. It looks like it might have been painted this color. I would just paint it white again, probably. It might have been originally white from the looks of it, because the paint is coming off. Um, hmm. Look at this little, like, Table, side table? I don't know. That's from Hobby Lobby. It's pretty cute. It's $20. <laughs> but I'm just looking through the rest of the store still. Oh, let's actually go look at the shoes. Maybe the kids' clothes? Someone donated all their Heelys. <laughs> they don't fit Kate though, so, or Zach. They're pretty big. Oh, two can shoes? That's cute. Still thinking about that mirror. I posted it on Instagram to see what you guys think before I buy it, if I buy it. So I'm waiting to see what you guys think. But it's only $15, which I think is a pretty good deal for it. You guys, I am in like this rack of clothing that they just brought out. I found an Akimi and Ken top. This little part is broken, but that can be easily sewn back on. So that's something even I can do. So I'm just looking through the rest of the clothes. It's a little tight squeeze in here, so I'll show you guys if I find anything else that's worth um, sharing. All right, I found another Lula Row like sh long shirt dress and extra extra small. 
Looks pretty comfy. I don't know. Maybe give it to my sister if anything. Let's see what else is here. Alright you guys, I just found this All Saints top, but I don't know, it's not like, it's like very, I don't know, billowy. There's also a tiny little hole in the back. Maybe pass. Just found the large Pottery Barn plates that match the smaller ones. Uh, there's only five though. Alright you guys, got my stuff. Let's go home now. Hey guys, okay, so I'm back at the house and I actually just had dinner, walked in, everyone was starting to eat already. Um, just left over spaghetti and some more garlic bread and a little bit of salad. Super delicious. Um, ate that and now I'm in my room and I just wanted to do a quick haul video of what I did end up getting from the Goodwill. So I didn't get the mirror. Um, I really wanted to show it to mom and show her how big it was and all that stuff because she is sometimes a, cu a tough cookie when it comes to me bringing home furniture um, from the Goodwill. So, I don't know, we're still ruminating over whether or not we're going to get it. Uh, it was only $15 though, so I don't know. I kind of tried to hide it behind some other paintings. So hopefully it's still there tomorrow. Um, I'll ask her again later um, what she decides. But I did pick up a couple goodies, so I did get this what I think is a, a vintage KISS shirt. Um, the tag was ripped out. And then on here it says like, I don't know, it says like the copyright thing, you can tell, like you can, if you look really closely you can see that it has like a 19. I don't know. Probably from the 90s. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. And then I did get this really cool bowl. I thought, this looks very, um, kind of, what's it called, uh, anthropology-esque. It has, it's like navy, um, the glaze, like the white glaze around the rim, you can kind of see like the terracotta or clay or whatever, um, kind of popping through. And then it has the white circles with like the green, and so they kind of look like, um, those evil eye things, I th or is that what they're called? Those like that kind of design. They also kind of look like eyeballs or like olives. Um, this is also the, it's, they're ma it's made in Hungary and it has like an M and a C, I think is underneath. Um, if anyone knows what brand that is, let me know. I don't know where this is from, but just know that I really liked it and I thought it was just like a really nice bowl. I know a lot of you guys have a vast wealth of knowledge, especially with like insignias and stuff like this because I, 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 I don't know everything. So, um, I love learning from you guys as well. So, if anyone knows, comment down below, send me a DM on Instagram. I would love to know what it is. And I don't know, I think I... I might keep it, I think it's really cool, or I might put it up in the shop and let me know if anyone's interested in it. Interested in it. Okay, so I did get that elephant from the other day too, from the other Goodwill, and I am so happy that so many of you guys messaged me about it and said it was so cute and wanted to purchase it. So, and I'm going to be putting it up in the shop very soon, um, and I'm going to message everyone that wanted it back and let them know that it's up in the shop and then it's kind of going to gonna be kind of going to have to be like first come first serve kind of thing because so many people um not not like so many people it wasn't like a million people messaged me but a handful of people at least like i i think i would need to use two hands to count how many people messaged me about it but um this bowl is so cute so anthropology-esque and I, I wish I knew what this design was called, then I can kind of like look it up. I honestly have like no clue what that is, so. Um, but I feel like I have seen something very similar like that. Maybe like in Anthropology or Urban Outfitters, or maybe even Target. So, um, those two things. And then I got one last thing. I got this really cute coach bag. What's cool about this is that this is made of Vegeta. And it's really clean. Like, this is in really great condition. Brass hardware. It's kind of like an off-white, almost like parchment color. It has like a tinted yellow. And it's really cute. Just like a nice little shoulder bag. You can carry it like that. And you're good to go. And this was only $7.99. Uh, the bowl was $1.99. Which was really cheap. Because... 
The bowls at that store usually are not $1.99. I don't know if they thought it was a planter maybe, which I it was actually in like that section kind of where the plants are. And I can totally see that being like a planter. I think that would be very cool and look really nice. Um, but that pretty much rounds out today's haul. And I think I'm going to end the video here. I want to film the rest of my um, haul videos for the upcoming week. And then I want to um, hopefully photograph some stuff to get listed up in the shop. Definitely the elephant. I know someone messaged me about one of the free people, the free people dress and the free people like crop top, like cropped sweater, hoodie, cardigan thing. So I'm going to get that done. And then tomorrow I actually have something pretty exciting that I'm going to be doing, but you'll probably have to wait till tomorrow. And then maybe I can tell you what it is. I know I hinted at this before and I know it's really annoying because I can't. Not that I can't tell you, but I just don't want to say anything until it actually has happened. Because I, I I, don't want to be like, I'm already, and I'm already doing it, I'm like hyping it up. But I don't want to be someone that's hyping something up that like is not going to. Anyway, just know that something exciting is going to happen tomorrow that I'm really nervous about. But um, I hope that it's good. Uh, I don't even exactly know what it is exactly, so that's also another reason why I don't want to say anything. I'll find out more tomorrow, and then we'll see if I can say anything. But tomorrow, we are definitely going to go thrifting as well, so I'm very excited about that. And I cannot wait to take you guys along um, with me when we go over there. And sorry I keep fussing with my hair. I just, oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get a haircut. And I totally forgot. I went to the Goodwill today and I kind of like literally, I kind of just like, like, I was like looking around the store and I kind of zoned out and I was there for like a really long time. I think I was there for like an hour. I'm not usually at that store for that long. But I was just like, doo -doo, just like looking around and I don't know what I was thinking or doing. I was just like zoned out. But anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you guys had fun. Um, if you guys did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you guys have found anything really cool recently, oh, you know, I have been forgetting to do the thrift find of the day. And I've been, hold on, one second. So I know I have a couple people that did um, recently comment stuff that they have found. And I like cannot like... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, okay, um... Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. Like, you guys are so supportive of me not being able to stick to that $20 thrifting thing. Um, and I think I really do, like I, I was talking about earlier when we were in the store, I really do want to do um, a like $20 thrift store clothing challenge. And I think I want to... Uh, I think I want to do um, clothing. I think it would be so cool to do like, do you think I can dress all three kids for $20? Like, do you think that's too intense? Like, I don't know. Like, do you think I'll be able to do like a pair? That's like a lot though. Cause then each thing would have to be like, kind of like a dollar. Cause three, six, nine, no, like $2. Like could be like 18, like around $18 if I spent $2 per item. Um, I don't know, maybe I could. Um, but we'll see. I really want to, like, do something cool like that. Like, that's... <laughs> you know? Um, but... Oh, my goodness. Uh... Oh, okay, first of all, I wanted to say hi to Darlene Aguilar. She said, Hi, Hadrian. I've tried doing a $25 budget at a thrift store and ended up wanting more. Great vlog. Thanks, Hadrian. Right? Like, that is so true. Like... Yeah. Um, okay. I, I'm so sorry. Like, everyone's talking, like, all these other comments about other, like, other things. And... 
Um, oh, Alisa Goldman said, is the challenge, is the challenge $20 per store or $20 a day? Um, my thing was it was $20 per store and I was visiting a couple stores a day or that day. But yeah, that like didn't really, um, work out too well for me because I just totally went over that. I think I did the best in like the first and third store because in the second store I kind of like blew it. Oh, you're actually probably gonna see that th in this <laughs> this morning's thrifting video. So check that out if you wanna see how much I went over for my $20 thrifting uh, challenge. Check out that video because I found some amazing stuff and I couldn't just leave it. I was like, no, like, okay. Maybe if, if it was like a th $20 thrift store thrift $20 thrift store challenge for stuff that I was gonna keep from myself. I think then I totally adhered. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I totally adhered to it. But then since I was also shopping for stuff for you guys, because I know a lot of this stuff that I found at that store, you guys are gonna like. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it because they're gonna love it. And I didn't want you guys to miss out on these. Because I like I get a lot of messages from people saying that it's really hard for them to thrift like where they're from. They don't find like the kind of stuff that I, I'm able to find or have access to in my thrift stores and they um, like will purchase from my store and I try like in my store I try to do as fair of a price as possible. I know I always try to stay under what the at like what I find as the average price for like a certain item is. And so that way, if anyone else wanted to, like, buy things and then resell them, um, they would still be able to make a little bit of profit as well. And, I don't know, like, I just want to, like, I want my store to be ex as, as accessible to other people as it can be. And still kind of, like, being within that realm of, like, getting a really good deal without, um, having access to, like, the actual, like, thrift stores that I go to, you know what I mean? So, like... Um, yeah, because I, like, once Deep, like, honestly, like, once Deep Pop, Deep Pop fees and all that stuff are taken out of, um, the items that I have bought, like, I'm honestly not really making too much of a profit on, like, a lot of the bags that I sell. Um, sometimes I do, uh, especially when, like, it's items that I do put a lot of effort into repairing or cleaning up and all that stuff, or if it's like a really rare item that I would probably really never find again, or not for a while, then, like, I'll price it a little bit higher, but then even then I try to keep it really low, so, um, I don't know, you could probably, honestly, you can probably tell from <laughs> looking at the items, I try to be as transparent as possible with my pricing and my prices, and that's why I like to show the prices that I get for like for like for the items in the store cuz that way you guys can see like um all that stuff. Like I think that's I think especially for people that do want to open up their own like kind of online store or like do some reselling like on the side or just for fun. Um I think that that is like a pretty good source um for pricing um stuff. I don't know, I think, but I, I, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just going off on a tangent again. Um, <laughs> and, uh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, and also someone asked again, how much is your shipping on Depop? Um, so the way Depop works is that they have different pricing brackets that they offer for shipping. Um, and then, like, depending on the weight of the item, like, with including the box and packaging and everything um they have like different pricing levels for each unfortunately like i just like i think like about a month or two ago they did raise the price so i think it used to be eight dollars um for up to like 10 pounds it's just weird because like it goes from like two to ten is like eight dollars but now that's ten dollars and then anything less like anything like 0.5 pounds to two pounds i think is like eight dollars so usually like the bags like once I get everything packaged and all that like including the box and everything shipping is ten dollars so that's kind of like that's usually pretty much how much the unless you're buying like the wallet and I and, um, eight eight dollars is the lowest price starting for priority through Depop and I always like to do priority not just like because um, 
like it gets to you faster but it's also because it has insurance and insurance is important because in the past I have had a lot of mishaps with um <coughs> excuse me items not getting places and like all that thankfully like thank goodness it hasn't happened recently but like about like before I even moved to this house like I'd have like some issues and luckily like everything was always covered but then like it gets me into the mindset like you should always get the insurance to always pay a little bit more for that peace of mind because if anything ever happens everyone will be reimbursed and like no one will lose out on anything so I always think that just just paying a little bit for more for shipping I think is always really important that's another tip too <laughs> for anyone who wants to like resale or anything insurance especially like well like that kind of stuff is important especially sometimes like like it's it's sad to say that there are people that like try to scam you and like will say that the package is not like delivered and if you don't have like that tracking and like the insurance and all that stuff like it's really like yeah because I actually had someone a while ago and they said that the package never came but then um through tracking it said that it was delivered and someone actually received the package and like called um I called like USPS or yeah the post office USPS called the hotline and all that and like um because it was through priority and all that like they were like yeah like this happened like there this person has um, a history of this like they think that's like mail fraud or something so they like were like you're, like, you're totally fine like they just totally reimbursed me and everything was perfect and it was awesome so like and then like they just took care of everything else through their end which that's like amazing so I'm so sorry this is <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm just like not even like finding anything that um I swear like a lot of people message me like cool stuff that they found and like right now I'm just seeing a lot of other different comments um but okay first of all caffeine addict she says, I'm going to try no thrifting for 30 day challenge. Going to need horse blinds so I don't see thrift stores along the way. Just buy groceries and stuff we need. Hope your vids don't tempt and kill me. You are so strong if you're going to be able to go 30 days without thrifting. Because I can't even, I can barely go 30 hours without thrifting. And that's like a day. So that's like crazy. They are amazing. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh... Oh, Mick Arthur Seek and Speak Truth said you should be an interior designer or decorator. The table color scheme is beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, and I remember that you messaged me about something else too. Uh, about like how great the thrift stores are in Palm Springs and I might have to take you up on the offer because like Palm Springs I have gotten numerous messages from people saying that Palm like now that I'm telling you guys everyone's gonna go to Palm Springs and there's gonna be nothing left but like Palm Springs I right hear is a primo destination for amazing deals especially with like handbags and stuff so that is amazing um and then, oh my gosh, okay, this is, okay, one last thing that someone said that I thought was really funny was, it made me laugh when you picked up the Prada off the floor and grabbed that big dust bunny with it. Like, honestly, I was like, okay, like, I'm picking up the fake Prada that I remember seeing, like, from a few days ago. I put it back up, and there was this ginormous dust bunny, like, the size of my face, and I was like, like, what do I do? I was like, do I just leave it there? Do I put it back on the floor? Like, I was, like, really, like, torn. <laughs> I was like... Adrian, what do you do? And I was just like, I'm just gonna leave it. And then maybe, like, no one will buy this big product. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I, I can't. Yeah. But. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. One more, one more, one more. Because this one was, like, really funny. Lucis Love. Hi, Lucis. Is that, am I saying that right? He said, what's wrong with your brother? He looked so upset. Must be a drag to shop with him. LOL. John... He kind of has like that like very serious face a lot of the time and a lot of the time it's kind of just like a front that he puts up especially in the videos like like he thinks it's really funny just to, like really like really grumpy and really serious so like honestly he's not like that all the time it's kind of just like like you can hear him whistling right now he's probably like whistling like 
like walking around he's like all happy and smiles like honestly he's he's not really that grumpy all the time but like like the two like the five seconds that you guys ever see him on camera he's just like I can't even put my face like that for very long oh my god like it kind of hurts you know like smiling takes less muscles and then it does to frown like honestly like it's really hard for me to frown because my my west my muscles are so weak from just smiling all the time and that's like that yeah that's kind of like an inside juggle my family always has about me like i'm always just like like <laughs> even though like i'm just like if i'm just like sitting here or like whatever and i'm just like just like always smiling i honestly can't help it i'm gonna get premature wrinkles but i really need to get some botox or something um Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. How about this? Tosh G. Hi, Hadrian. Love your haul. It's amazing. You keep finding beautiful treasures. I thrifted an Armani exchange handbag. It was $4.99. Thank you for always being awesome. Uh, happy self. Heart, heart, heart. Thank you so much, Tosh. Like, and that is an awesome find. Armani exchange bags are really nice. And I think they're actually, like, they're, they're genuine leather, right? So that is amazing. I love a good leather bag. Um, and if you only knew how expensive buying leather pieces are, they're so, you can't even buy, like, a big leather piece to make a bag for $4.99, so, that's why I'm always, like, leather handbags are, like, really great, um, you can buy, like, full, even though full leather is pretty expensive, too, because I have bought some full leather in the past to make, like, little projects and stuff, it's still expensive, so, like, even, but, like, real leather is a lot, lot, lot more expensive, so, oh, that's it, so, that's, that's our little um shout out for their find of the day so thank you guys again so much for watching hope you guys had fun sorry i keep going off on these tangents you know what it is it's because i'm sitting down and i feel like we're just hanging out like in my room and we're just like chatting even though i'm really just talking to myself but i like in my head you guys are talking to me especially when i read your comments i feel like you guys are like right here with me so i think i like like do you guys like that like when i answer the comments i don't know but i really am i really do want to do like a live video very soon maybe just like a little sit down maybe a little haul let me know what you guys think um but like, i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> you know when you watch someone like it's like the thing that i have when i hear accents i just want to start um kind of doing the accent even though my accent is awful when i watch like youtube videos and i see like people are like and i just like want to like start like <laughs> i don't know what it is like i'm just like <laughs> but it's I, I don't know but thank you guys again so much for watching i love you guys so much check out this morning's thrifting video again i found some really really great stuff and check out the shop too hopefully i'll have that stuff up in the shop i know yesterday i said that I'd have new stuff in the shop and i like literally posted like a one new thing and then after that i like passed out so i love you guys so much please understand that i apologize profusely uh, for not being able to list things as often as i really want to but i promise we're gonna get better like hadrian do better okay i love you guys i'll see you guys later bye